Stanley Twayman, Meditations on First Philosophy Embark on a journey through philosophy as we explore Meditations on First Philosophy by Stanley Twayman. Dive into the complexities of human perceptions, skepticism, and the nature of existence. This book summary takes you through a myriad of thought-provoking questions about the trustworthiness of our senses, what truths we can deduce from our own thoughts, and how to approach realities of our minds and the world around us. The key message is that even though our senses might deceive us, our ability to think is the undeniable proof of our existence. Discover how these insights will lead you to new understandings of God and the relationship between the mind and the body. The Unreliability of Our Senses Our five senses, sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing, are meant to be reliable sources of information. However, they can be easily tricked by external forces, as demonstrated in bizarre dreams, painters' images, and the film The Truman Show. Popular beliefs about demons that trick people's perceptions inspired Descartes to conclude that we should be skeptical about all knowledge. Although things like our body and the physical world around us might exist, we cannot be sure. Thinking determines our existence. Our ability to think is the only certainty we have in a world full of illusion and deception. Through our mind's ability to perceive and make judgments, we can prove that we exist. Our senses can deceive us, but our thoughts cannot. By challenging and questioning our senses, we become vigilant skeptics which strengthens our capacity to think and define the world. Our mind fills in the gap when our senses fail, providing a judgment of reality. Our mind proves our existence regardless of what our senses tell us. Thus, even if we're just thinking we don't exist, the mere fact that we're thinking it proves we exist. While there remains the possibility of doubt in the existence of other things, our capacity to think is the only thing we can depend on without reserve. Trusting our senses Our senses are unreliable sources of knowledge, yet they provide us with much of what we understand about the world. While we can grasp some concepts purely through our minds, other ideas are forced onto us from the outside world. Additionally, our sensory perceptions can deceive us, leading to less reliable knowledge. When it comes to questions of existence, such as the reality of God, we must consider the different levels of reality and approach the question with a critical eye. The Role of the Mind in Our Existence Our mind is the core of our existence, and our ability to think is the proof of our existence. As we possess this ability from birth, something outside us must be the cause of it. This ability can only have been put into us by a supreme thinking being, which is God. The concepts understood by our minds alone are the highest form of reality. Therefore, the existence of God has implications for the body and mind. The existence of the mind and the body. The human mind's existence is based on its ability to think, and this ability demonstrates God's existence. Although the mind lacks physical properties, it can exist and operate without them. The mind operates on the highest level of existence, enabling us to perceive and comprehend things without experiencing them in the outside world. While bodies likely exist, they are secondary forms of sensing, and the mind is the first and highest level of existence. Therefore, the mind and the body exist on distinct levels and can operate independently of one another. This suggests that the mind or soul can persist beyond the body's death. Overall, the mind and the body have independent yet interconnected existences, with the mind having a higher level of existence than the body. By exploring meditations on first philosophy, we are reminded of the limitations of our senses and the surprising power of our minds. Skepticism has its merits pushing us to look beyond our immediate sensory experiences and appreciate that our capacity to think serves as the ultimate proof of our existence. We've seen how our innate ability to think is linked to the presence of a supreme thinking entity, God, which supports the notion of a higher power guiding our existence. In conclusion, Twayman's book encourages us to recognize the distinct realms of our minds and bodies, highlighting how the mind can potentially exist independently of its physical vessel. 
Engage with this book summary to challenge your own perceptions and broaden your understanding of philosophy.